Hello and welcome to Ableton Live Insider Tips. In the next few tutorials, I want to. In the next tutorials, uh, in the next few tutorials, I want to show you the options TXT file and how you can add commands to it to add more functionality to Live. Under Mac, because I'm working on Mac, this um, file is needs to be under your username, then library and then the preferences and then Ableton and then within the actual version that you're working so for me that be the life last life 9 beta so so here you can see there's actually no options .txt file available yet which means we have to create one on the Windows XP and 2000 It'd be under C, Documents and Settings, your username, Application Data, Ableton Live Preferences. And under Windows Vista, Windows 7, and I think Windows 8 as well, it's under C, Users, then your username, App Data, Roaming, Ableton Live and Preferences. Now under Windows, XP and 2000, um, the application data folder is hidden by default, which means you have to make it visible first if you haven't yet. For this, you simply launch the Explorer, then from the menu, select Tools, Folder, and then Options View. And in there, look for the Show Hidden Files and Folder options and make sure it's checked. Next, you need um, a simple text editor. So um, on Mac, what's already included is text edit. On Windows, that be Notepad. And um, now you can just simply write in what you want. So in this case, I'm going to show you the show device slots. You can, of course, add more than just one command, but you have to make sure that it's one command per line only. You have to make sure that it's a small dash and then it's written out just like that here. And then you also have to make sure that there's no formatting on it. So make sure that you make it plain text. So there's no word formatting of any kind on it. Then save and um, it has to be called options dot txt and the options has to start with a big o you have to make sure of that and um, yeah then choose the correct folder which means that in my case it'd be the madeline Library, Preferences, let's go by name, Ableton, and then the version that you're working with, and save it. All right, so now that we've saved the options TXT file, we can simply start life. We can now see there's this little plug icon that appeared here in the corner um, after adding the show device slots command. And when you click on it, you can actually see all the devices contained within a track. So you've got an impulse and a compressor and you can turn the device on and off that way or you can just select them that way. So um, that's really helpful either in the studio for producing and accessing the devices really quickly or I can imagine it's, it can be really helpful as well in a live context in the performance situations when you want to see for example what you're tweaking. Um, there's just uh, one thing that is um, it has a tiny little bug um, and I think that's why they didn't include it as a real feature and I'll just show you by dragging in a couple of uh, devices so here you already see it only has the uh, 
track the, the activator button and um, not the name but you can actually remedy that by making the track smaller and wider again and now you've got the name there as well and uh, you can also enlarge this area and it shows 12 slots total that's it from me for now i'll see you next time bye <laughs>